Eight years ago, you start a website about sharing for a social network. Now, eight years later, you have to make a lot of money because you're $70 million in the hole. That doesn't even count for all the money that you owe your investors. So, it's a tough one. Good luck, SoundCloud. <laughs> Good luck, SoundCloud. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Tickle with Music ID TV, your home for B2B music news. So, on today's episode, we want to talk to you guys about predicting the fall of SoundCloud. Last year, Dave and I did an episode called A Closer Look at SoundCloud, and we did a second episode called Can You Really Make Money on SoundCloud? In which I'm sure some cards will pop up to where you guys can watch it up here. But we talked about how SoundCloud continued to take in more money in the years of 2015 and 2016. But we also talked about how you have to pay that money back. They started SoundCloud Go back in 2016, in which we did a review of. You can also check that out on a closer look at SoundCloud episode. We also reported that last week SoundCloud slashed 40% of the company. That's almost half the workforce. There has also been a statement released by SoundCloud's PR person saying that SoundCloud does have funding until the fourth quarter, which means the end of the year, which means that if SoundCloud does not make enough money, or if SoundCloud does not get enough investments, then buy SoundCloud. We also spoke about how potentially this could be a move to make SoundCloud more profitable by slashing their expenses and cutting their costs to try and increase their profitability. But here's the thing. When the founders of SoundCloud got into SoundCloud, they were not expecting the service to be what it was. It became a lot bigger than anticipated. So their leadership is what's really going to guide this company and what's really going to guide the future of your music that lives on SoundCloud. Get to know the founders. They started SoundCloud just to kind of share music files with each other. They wanted to be the YouTube of music. And it kind of achieved that with having over 170 million active users. Some reports have come out that maybe that 170 million active users has gone down to 70 million. That's a lot of people to lose, not too certain, but a lot of doubts are starting to come out from SoundCloud. And I don't know, I, don't, I really don't know what to, what to make of that you guys. <laughs> so if they do have funding up until the fourth quarter and they have cut these costs and they did take on some investments against their debt of 70 million, then maybe SoundCloud might be onto a profitable future, but they have to have a strategy. They have to have a plan. They have to know what they're going to do next, how they're going to be profitable, in what way, who to cater to. Are you really going to try and compete with Spotify and Apple Music with the SoundCloud Go initiative? SoundCloud has come out and said they're going to focus more on independent independent creators, but we'll see how that goes. I mean, to be honest, they made some initiatives against independent creators with really enacting the three strike rule with a lot of DJs getting their music ripped off of SoundCloud last year, and then starting SoundCloud Go in which artists from major labels are the ones who will be receiving the royalties from SoundCloud Go. To be honest, unless the founders of SoundCloud and leadership in SoundCloud know exactly what they're going to do to make this company profitable, we're not gonna be seeing too much of SoundCloud. And streaming is getting really competitive and we're probably gonna lose a few companies. I would hate to see SoundCloud go. I have tons of friends. I know there's a ton of you guys who have a lot of your music on SoundCloud. And now where will you house your music that you want the people to have access to for free? Where would you do that? There's so many artists that have broken SoundCloud. I mean, Chance the Rapper has made his music available on SoundCloud. So what would you do next? Let us know in the comments section, where would you put your music outside of SoundCloud if SoundCloud were to go? Let us know, do you have any recommendations? There's other platforms coming up. There's been other platforms, but what would you use or what do you use? Let us know in the comments section below. If you found this video informative at all, be sure to share with your friends, like, and subscribe for more videos. Don't be afraid to turn on the notifications button so you can stay informed. We will be posting at least four news episodes a week. Once again, my name is Tuco with Music ID TV, your home for B2B music news. I love it.